Yeah, um, we are very happy with the Alien Orbitec 2012. Um, we have um, more exhibitor than the last edition. The space has grown a bit. Um, but the most important thing is that the visitors are very satisfi satisfied at the Orgatec this year. Um, we got a feeling that in several countries the feeling is that they don't want to talk about the crisis any longer. They want to talk about projects, future perspectives. And so the exhibitors are quite happy about the, the um, visitorship in, in terms of quantity but um, also in terms of quality because several countries from all over the world um, have been here and so we expect the same um, for the next two days and hope that um, this will lead to a very successful edition 2012. I have seen also a lot of a new proposals, new things, new object, a new way to organize a working space. So it's a fair also new things, not only of, of market. Um, I think um, the Oritec um, is about to change, or about to move, maybe wrong, is already in a changing process from a product um, a presentation um, to a uh, theme orientation. So we want to um, focus on topics which are relevant for the industry, like um, acoustics, um, like sustainability, like um, uh, IT technology. And we focus this on several points within the halls, based on the, the understanding that in most of the cases no visitor is today able to see eight or nine hours booths from exhibitors. They won't probably get further inspiration. And so we try to attract these people on, on several points um, within the walls and try also to lead these people through the walls because the Oritec yeah. is so enormous uh, wide span that you need to see all eight to all ten and you need to spend four or five days instead yeah. of the normal one day visit. And, and also to support another way of thinking about the working places. I see uh, acoustic, lighting and so on. So maybe there is a new concept, complete new concept I think, um, it's not um, a an, an concept in a way, it's a uh, constant change in the um, industry. So um, owner of offices need to think about the question, how do we communicate? Um, how do we uh, generate interest for our working situation? And how do we treat our, cost, uh, our employees if they're working for us? That they uh, keep uh, being health healthy, could work in an effective manner and so on and so on. So it's all about um, getting more attractiveness um, to the working place, what we call modern working spaces. And um, this is also for employer um, a new way of attracting um, high potential talents to their company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the IMM 2013, including the Living Kitchen 2013, we expect an extraordinary um, event. Um, this is based on the um, knowledge already that we will occupy the complete fairground from Hall 1 to one, uh, um, Hall 11. So the complete fairground of 284,000 square meter gross will be occupied with the Furniture Show 2013, including the Living Kitchen. And this ha has not happened to the fairground since the new master plan 2006 was uh, done, the new halls have been built at 2006. So at, at least it is the best IMM, including Living Kitchen, uh, since six years. I would say um, it's the best. It will be the best um, uh, in the last century. This is based on an economic trend in the moment. Um, uh, in the moment where where you don't get money out of your money, so you could not invest your money into things, um, you probably tend to uh, um, uh, invest money into stones, if we say German. So it means um, you build your house, you buy your house, you do um, massive renovation, and if you do all kind of these activities, you need furniture, and then um, you, you buy a new couch, a new kitchen, and so on and so on. So based on the economic trend, especially in the German-speaking markets, um, the, the situation is very, very good. And there's another factor, 
that um, from all other parts of Europe, people are coming more and more to Cologne because they recognize the very positive development of the IMM since the year 2011. 2011 was the year where we started first time the Living Kitchen and Living Kitchen, the kitchen and appliance uh, fair is uh, a necessity for a successful IMM in the um, odd years um, and so um, the kitchen industry generates a lot of interest, other clients, new customers, um, they are um, celebrating their product a lot more than some other um, uh, furniture industries and that's quite attractive also to the final public uh, visitor. So um, what we want to do is we want to set um, attractions for buying new things and that's something we could fulfill in uh, 2013. And the last um, quite important factor uh, is that um, the German and the European industry are looking for new markets. So um, I would say the West European part of uh, the business is cloudy at least, to be polite, and now they are they, they are looking eastwards, and this is a typical strength of the IMM, including the living kitchen. Maybe for the next living kitchen, you have to increase your effort to have more exhibitors from abroad. Um, you could say so, probably, uh, but on the other hand, um, uh, it is not really the case. Um, we have done very, very hard efforts um, all over uh, the continent to uh, um, gather the interest of uh, kitchen manufacturers, which we received already. We will have an increase in international kitchen manufacturing companies in 2013. Um, I think you, uh, you will see it on display then. Um, and um, the international kitchen furniture industry is also required to compete. So, so um, in, in some countries there is the observation that Germany operates in a very complicated market. So that companies are not easy to find a way to enter the market and that's why they are reluctant to go to a fair. We have, for instance, in Italy done an extensive explanation about the, 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 logic, the logic of the German market um, and uh, to convince people to come to Cologne and I think we will get some uh, uh, Italian customers to Cologne and so we are increasing the internationality of the um, living kitchen um, uh, quite rapidly but you must consider we have done that now the second time. It's only the second edition, yeah. Yes, the second edition and it's still a baby and it's infancy, yeah. yeah? And um, you know, you are an Italian, there's an Italian show in the other year and we want to be the best show in the other year. So yeah. that's why um, we are quite satisfied with our um, uh, success so far. Um, but we will work on this to be the best show in the hot years. That's our main goal. The last thing, the next year will be the year of Interzoom. Just to close the circle. Yeah. A few words about what we can expect from the next edition of Interzoom here in Cologne. As I said, I'm responsible for the lucky times at Cologne, so um, uh, Interzoom is the next lucky news, and that's not just selling good news, it's really the fact. Um, we're doing excellent at the Interzoom, after a very, very good edition in 2011, where we um, hit 1,450 exhibitors and uh, 53,000 visitors from all over the world, with an international reality rate and exhibitors and visitors in the region of 70%. We are back on track. We had terrible years or difficult years um, in, in the early 2000s, but we are back on track. Um, and this is um, honored by exhibitors. So we have a constant inflow of um, applications. Um, we are very strong at the fitting sector already. I would say everybody within the fitting industry, which is doing business in the European and in the worldwide markets is there. Some, maybe one or three, few small uh, exceptions are in my mind. 
we are doing particularly better in the wood based industry. So we have, for instance, um, after AGA 2011 returning to Cologne, uh, Kronoswiss returning now to um, the Intersum. And we are doing also better in the textile sector where we um, have received the application of TopCut, which is a re owned um, cut manufacturer. And so our textile competence will, will be enlarged in 2013 further, further on. So I would say at the current climate and at the current stage, I would predict we will um, hit our targets and our targets significant higher than 2011. So you could expect um, once again a very perfect uh, interzone in 2013.